In the previous video, our vampire Edward gets information on Darius, then tries to find a way into Darius' house. This is where Johnson's night begins. Okay guys, so we're back. We're gonna find a way into Darius' house. Trying to see what Dorothy Crane is up to. Let's see what happens. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Shit, I can't do that. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. All right, I'm finally in. I didn't have to sneak around. Why couldn't I just start with that from the start? Let's search the house for any loot. And again, pause, read on your own time if you want. All right, I'm picking up a whole bunch of random stuff that it's locked, all right. Okay. You got a cool place there. Don't mind if I take some, right? <laughs> Let's see what you have if to say. If you about want it. to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. I would love to ask some questions, but... Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. I'm just trying to stick with the story. I'll come back next time off camera and do it. While well, I'm not recording. Alright, find Dorothy. Cause she be in here. Oh my! All these blood. All right, there's nothing here. Bunch of sick, wounded people. She's probably upstairs. All right, let me let me go ahead. Larry and Nurse Crane. Where's that letter? Huh. <laughs> Just looting when we go, guys. I need help. All right, I'm here. I'm here. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin is Alison for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel. Hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. Shoot. That hurts. I need to offer oh. a to me. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Ooh. Doctor. Without any anesthetics? Yikes. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Oh, 
priest. My Jess. Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. I'm just going with what my guts would say. Oh. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? I... I can't see. Oh my, um, let me finish alone. Oh man, I don't know what to choose. Oh. I must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Ephraim now. Cardiac massage now. A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. I'm sorry. That felt intense. They're gonna put me in the We've position the to become a doctor. No he, way. He's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Right, I guess we're going to analyze that sometime, huh? I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't save you. Oh, kind of got stuck there. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? This is illegal. You can't carry on with this. I couldn't stop the blackmail. Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. I would do all these, but these, these would be so time consuming, so I'm just gonna stick to the main plot, main point for you guys. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications, but all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? right now I don't have enough to embrace her so I'm not gonna try that
I'm nice, okay? No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. What she's doing is right. Oh, what is this? Interview with the vampire. This is Bill. I'm sorry. What the heck was that? What the heck? Oh, this one stinks already. What do you think you're doing, man? Man, those gunshots hurt. Filthy piece of shit. God, taste of this. Come on, come on. <laughs> Why are we gonna shoot these innocent injured people, man? I'm sorry, guys. I didn't really want anything to happen to you guys. Shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. One at a time. Guys always give me trouble, man. Especially when they try to swarm you. It's just rough. Now head back to the hospital, huh? Have I talked to you before? Let's see what she says. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually. I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. 
Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. No, guys. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu I'll come to chat another time. Now back to the hospital. If I know how to get back, I believe it was this way. Looks like the right way. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! Oh, snap! Crush the leech, boy! <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> Low on blood. Oh. Man, I was just trying to get back to the hospital. I was ready to put my guy back to bed. Oh boy. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Maybe I can head to a different way. Nope. Doesn't look like it. I have to come this way. here guys yes I gotta get stronger guys Something told me, tells me I should have worked on this instead.
guys can pause that and read that. Six cents during the dialogue. I craft one. Secures true and Persephone. I don't have that for coal. Ah, so I need some essence. Treating for a headache. That's pretty. Oh, okay. Gonna save that. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. Guys are too much in the way. Come on, come on.
always try to stay really focused. Come on. I told you guys I didn't want no trouble. You guys ignored me. Got my butt kicked. Good, now time to get that get the heck out of here. I made it back. Oh man. Got my butt kicked back there. ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. I will answer that for another time, guys. I bid you farewell. For now. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Alright guys, I'll stop right there, end it there. I'll see you guys next time in the next vampire. I want to stay safe, alright? So Jonathan tells Lady Ashbury about the details regarding her black miller and heads upstairs to analyze the blood sample he got. What will Jonathan encounter next? Who will he meet? To be continued.